Right now, social media on fire over school lunches. One mom telling us on Facebook her son came home hungry because he says there wasn't anything good at school. Liza Borman posting on our Facebook page, Michelle Obama, you are starving our kids. Well, tonight our Eric Waxler is taking action to get answers from our local schools about this food fuss. Is the first lady really responsible for taking french fries and coke away from school lunch rooms? Some students we're hearing from say that's what cafeteria workers are telling them. Here's a Facebook post from one parent. My son cannot have soda at school because of Michelle Obama. Those were his exact words. This was at Pinellas Park High. Changes have been in the work nationwide since new federal standards were adopted and championed by Mrs. Obama. Those standards meant to fight childhood obesity, which affects about 17% of children and adolescents. I talked to officials in Hillsborough, Pinellas, and Pasco counties who say they've been ahead of the curve in altering menus, and most students are already used to the healthier options. We serve the same stuff, it's just the recipes have changed, the ingredients in the food has changed. They offer salad and vegetables and lots of fresh fruits and cheeses, so I think it's a good thing. And as far as French fries, officials say they got rid of fryers some time ago. Vending machines do have a different look because of the smart snack standards. Snack foods sold in schools have to be less than 200 calories and contain some nutritional value. We are actually providing our own vending machines on our campuses, uh, particularly at high schools, maybe middle schools, uh, that provide uh, healthy or healthier uh, drinks uh, as well as food options. The topic of school lunches is definitely heating up on social media. One Bay Area parent wrote it shouldn't be anyone's decisions other than the parents what their children eat or drink and Mike Boylan posted my kids have grown up eating happy meals and they have turned out just fine. Eric Waxler ABC Action News.